Hello America, hello YouTube, hello world, hello all you red brick people. Here I am, looking inside a building that's no longer here. It's been destroyed. I got a story about this and another building it's that I resided in. I resided in this building here. And they call this building here Detroit House of Corrections. And uh, they'll tell you it was built in 1862, blah, blah, this. And it was designated, well, I'm going to tell you they designated an inherited building as a women's prison because it wasn't, they did they didn't build it. It was already here. They just fixed it up, folks. Just like all the capitals in the United States of America. And you look at all the old prisons and all the old insane asylums and all the big structures where they designated. Look at all the big libraries, like the Detroit Public Library. They designate that as a library. And that's a building of old folks. They're complete liars. And we all need to unify and get our world back we need to get our the truth back in the world and these people who call themselves politicians and uh, these one percenters who meter you for energy are behind most of this crap that we face today it's a two-headed monster and here in my state we'll conclusively show you that those people that have been running the department of corrections Michigan Department of Corrections is one of the most corrupt unions in the world, folks. So that's that's an understatement. And all their constituents with them. That constituents that means those con men who are supposed to be leaders, those are the constituents. So I don't know if you know that you're 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 just all not aware because you believe in this bullshit. Uh, propaganda they gave you to give it to you in April and carry you to next April and in the meantime do shit and feed your propaganda through the television all complete lies like the history they gave you so I'm going to give you a quick brief history lesson about two buildings that I resided in that are buildings of the past that were made out of red bricks and something and you do, go do your own investigating and you determine in your own mind what the truth is. I'm going to tell you some facts, that Jack, that I lived. And here's two buildings I lived in inside, and they had big doors, and it was redesignated. And I'm just going to open up a little uh, display capture right now and show you one of them. The Detroit House of Corrections is... is where you're seeing me speak out of right now, I resided in. We called it Wild Wild West. Okay, it was taken down, I believe, in 2004, 2002. One another we might see in, when I get a display capture open. But uh, it, they can portray it however they want to portray it. But I'll tell you, we called it Wild Wild West. Guards didn't run that place. Inmates ran that place. And I'll tell you why. I know I lived there. Inmates had handguns, folks. And and this is when males were residing in the prison. And I was one of the prisoners residing there. So you could get anything you want. Even the, even the staff was corrupt. You could get laid for 50 bucks. Might be ugly, bro, but you could get laid. Whatever, man. You could get heroin, crack, anything you wanted, man. Anyway, so let me open up, uh, and the guards were corrupt, and hell, I seen one fall asleep in the shack, while well, one guy escaped from this joint here, so, and that guy was some kind of rapist, raping kids out of Pontiac in the past, or something, or maybe Detroit, Palmer Park, maybe it was, see, Palmer Park Golf Course, like, Palmer Golf Course in Detroit is, again, a covered up a cover-up for inherited buildings and structures all over the place. This is across the street from Palmer Golf Course. You will see buildings of old again, Tartarian-styled, um, brick-damaged, beautiful buildings that are pockets of survival that we call in the red brick community. So anyway, I'm going to open up a display capture real quick. 
and uh, we'll get this display capture going and uh, we'll say OK and uh, take a little look see here so go here and here's the Detroit House uh, Corrections right here look at that all the red brick people already can just look at this structure and say yep of old buildings sunk down buildings sunk because of heat cataclysmic thing all red brick building um, they patch it up with um, plaster and paint it and don't put a top on it but we'll, we'll, we'll show you how it looked in the past see now look at right here this one I'm going to show you this is the second building that I resided in this is Jackson prison look at this they say they built this to be a prison this beautiful structure see how this top is here that's not how it was when they had the prison the narrative they'll give you is they moved is when they moved in here and fixed it up okay but anyway we'll get to that Jackson one in a minute we'll just talk more about this one here Wild Wild West House of Corrections look at this folks this is how this was set up and I give you a narrative they built this in 1862 for um, women prisoners let me show you something here folks do we have it open here uh, let's see Wild Wild West let's see do I got a Detroit House of Corrections right here <coughs> excuse me folks Excuse me once again. I apologize for that. I smoked me a little bowl, made me cough a little bit. And it, anyway, here it is. There's the Detroit House of Corrections, which I was telling you just a minute ago. They want to tell you that um, that they built that for women prisoners, huh? That's a complete lie, huh? Anyway, so back to display capture. I thought I had some pictures in there. That's why I opened it back up, folks. Sorry about that. But uh, here we got the display capture. So what was this? Uh, you see, this is that's Jackson here, and we'll show you this one. That's Wild Wild West. And now here we go. Here's some. Uh, Detroit House of Corrections image here and looky there see look at the lay of the land and everything just tells you again they tell you complete lies complete garbage lies okay then you go read Detroit uh, House of Corrections from the wicked pedophile group and they'll give you that narrative of 1861 demolished oh demolished in 2017 it closed in 2004. I knew it was something in 2004, too. But it wasn't. It opened in 1861. It was owned and run by the city of Detroit. So we know, we already know that government's corrupt and they've been hiding the light under the basket and the truth. But anyway, onward to the point here to just substantiate. There it is, folks. House of Corrections in the past. How it looked. They built that. See, what I just showed you didn't have a top on it. They didn't put a top on it. Huh? They redesignated and then just hooked it up a little differently. Don't know how to make shit look good like this was showing you here, but I just flipped through some of these when these when they uh, were moving in here. You see that was old Tartaria style again, um, how they built it, and the red. There's your red bricks again of the past. And, Here's the narrative lie in your face. Look, there, and we're going to build a prison that looks like this, right? Yeah, like home sweet home, you know, just build prisons. To, oh, and this is the chow hall that we used to have to go eat some of the nastiest food in the world, folks. You don't even know. Let me tell you, I do. I lived it. So... There, there's that broad cooking, man. There, they're all rehabilitating at the women's prison they built. It's just dandy, wasn't it? So anyway, 
There it is right there. That's the women's prison they built, and I showed you what it looked like. Look down here. Look at all them red bricks. Huh? All old style. Just like any structure you see. All the capitals. All the capitals United States are look identical to this type of structure. They redesignated it as a women's prison, just like they redesignated the prettier ones as capitals and so forth. And they're in every city in America, all over the world. So there, um, we don't have to make a real long video uh, to tell a story. And that's a pretty powerful story about red bricks. I lived in this building right here called Jackson Prison, the largest walled prison in the world. Uh, and I resided in this one. Both of them were crazy, but this one was crazier because they called it Wild Wild West. I was just fortunate enough not to go to the real crazy parts of Jackson Prison because there are some spots there in the time when I was doing time that they called Little Vietnam. It was, they called Hell on Earth if you ever ended up there. And for the most part, it seemed that when I resided there, I found that the guards were worse than any inmates you could ever meet. They were really, there's a couple good ones. You know, there was an ex-Harlem Globetrotter that was on the staff there and uh, at Western Wayne, rather, that wasn't at Jackson, but at Western Wayne, and he was a good, decent dude. Excuse me, I took a sip of some coffee here. It's, uh, I don't know what time it is. It's 20 to 4. 20 to 4. That's the inverted 420. Maybe it's time to hit that bowl once again. But anyway, we don't want to make this video too long. I uh, just wanted to say that there is some more absolute truth. That, uh, yeah, I was talking about corrupt staff. Oh, so what? They're, most of them already faced their own makers. Some of them are already dead. Some of them are locked up for some of their stuff. And I think one or two of them got shot. Some weird homosexual stuff on the street that they were doing and the same that they were doing while they were in prison when they were working there but ain't that a bitch so there's some more truth so there's some more uh, pictures of uh, you know, Jackson prison here and, and look again right here look look how this is set up and structured again of the past this look at this all these uh, this was heat damaged and this uh, the red brick started popcorning and they didn't give this no whitewash finish and plaster finished up like they did over here in western wayne see but same kind of shit and i showed you the picture of the the past of what that really truly looked like uh, detroit house of corrections now you tell me folks are you this stupid that you believe they built this for women prisoners <laughs> in 1861 if you do you need to put that mask on with some cyanide drops in it <laughs> to go quicker because you're already brain dead you might as well catch up to your brain and just anyway I don't really feel that way I hope you all start waking up and knowing that all government all these liars everything they tell you about America is a complete farce what I'm telling you is the absolute truth they inherited every capital in the United States of America and redesignated many of these buildings along with destroying many of these buildings in these wars that were manufactured to help destroy the past, to get the power of energy and, and the control and the true narrative. And they gave us his story. Whose story might that be? It's those one percenters who bring you stuff like Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and that Walt Disney crap and your NBCs and ABCs. All those people tied to those at the hierarchy are all our enemy because they are the liars and the destroyers of the truth, destroyers of our past, and it's up to us to make sure that we reveal every single one of them. And all the stuff that they left on the internet of the past has already told on them. Just like 
they give you narratives in books that the angel came and talked to him. Well, guess what? The black mirror, the internet, the black mirror has spoken and has revealed over and over and over again who the Leviathan beast is, the Freemason, two-headed monsters, working with the, uh, El the protocol, the learned elders of Zion. And uh, they've been caught. And it's just a matter of time before we all wake up and uh, get them people and put them where they belong, in cells. Absolutely, in cells where they belong. So we're going to close that screen uh, display capture there. I don't have any more images to show you right now. I got some images of different prisons, and I could probably spend an hour and a half showing you a whole kind of different red brick uh, prisons all over the world and that were redesignated as prisons that weren't prisons. But there's some absolute truth for you. Looking inside, looking at the past looking and thinking in the present about our future. How are you going to be stuck in your cell with a mask on, listening to these fools, giving you a false history, false narrative about everything you ever did in this country? Everything is a lie, and it's time for us to wake up. So let's wake up, folks. Don't fall under the guise of those... Uh, truthers who want to uh, bring you the same kind of rhetoric that uh, of this false society really gives you with they have an answer of well, what caused things and, and, and they created things and they did this and they have the memory to do that I don't believe none of that but you can always find the truth in the midst of somebody who doesn't know it all yet but knows so much truth they get confused with some type of perhaps Wi-Fi signal that's making them uh, think that they've, you know, I don't understand, and call me naive if you want, will, but uh, some people who, who make these YouTube videos and want to talk about red bricks, they'll tell you that we created the whole earth and we are part of it and all this other stuff, and I can't buy that for not a second. I believe like this, folks. We are all from the same genetic code, okay? We are all, but we got tricked. And everything lines up with books that were, that are, are not allowed in the, the Bible, we'll say, like the book of Enoch, a book of Ezra. Books like that, if you read them, it fits right in the narrative, and it gives you a narrative of what really happened here. And that cataclysmic event resounds so loud that we do understand some of what transpired. And many of those things that are truthers are talking about, that there was these weird people all over the place with possibly wings and dog heads and so forth, is the absolute truth because they knew the genetic code. They had, they had stuff way beyond what we have today, folks. And uh, they were doing brain surgery with battery, with electricity, rather, all kinds of stuff they were doing. Those pyramids it could be flooded, could be underwater, and some are still today underwater because of the X factor event that happened that I almost undoubtedly believe occurred in the period of when we talk about the Book of Enoch. So not, I'm going to make this long. I didn't want to make this long. This was just about the prisons. But I just wanted to kind of touch down in regard to how some people can really start taking truth and mashing it into some kind of um, ideology of their own in their own head and try to feed it to people. And then how do you expect them to believe the truth? See, give people the truth. Don't put a, the ideology perspective in. You know, I, I mentioned Enoch and the, the things that I read about these books that we, we indeed know that Enoch was one of the characters snatched up by the Bible. But yet his book's not allowed in the Bible, so it don't make absolutely no sense. And if you read the book of Bible and you read the book of uh, 
revelation and the, um, you will see that these people are behind uh, the crap. You'll read in the Bible that uh, God said that he'll give you homes you didn't build. Where? Well, I just told you, two of them that I resided in all over the world. All the capital buildings were given to us and they inherited them and claimed that they're theirs. You'll go look around. There'll be Freemason, Masonic Lodges all over the place. Part of the two-headed monster I just spoke to you guys about. So there is the absolute truth. I said too much. I'm going to smoke a bowl, chill out, and uh, watch episode. I don't know what episode I'm on right now, but holy smokes, man. That's a long episode. But episodes of When the Buildings Cried. But I guess it take it would probably take some a long time to describe everything. And I don't know. I think it could be condensed a little bit, but I don't know. I've been watching them, and some of them are a little bit long with showing you stuff, but I think that's just a, a good format to show you how overwhelming his evidence is. So if for nothing else it's overwhelming, he has a sound case in regard to everything that he's shown other than saying that he created this and that he remembers that he created this i'm sorry i just can't believe that call me naive like i said but hey i said some mean things about him because he sounded off to john levy and i regret saying anything but at the same time i was a sounding board and perhaps that's what he needed to hear at the time because everybody needs to be checked hey i got I got all kind of character flaws, but I'll tell you one thing, I'm a real dude, I will look out for people, I do good things any chance I get an opportunity to, I was trying to get some funds together for Jerry, even for his rent prior to him uh, making comments about uh, he was going to call the police on somebody and have someone prosecuted for making comments and stalking and all this other stuff. And I hate government, and he wanted to get the government involved. And see, that just threw me right off. Like, who are you? And now you say you can, uh, I don't know. So I really love the dude, but I don't like that part of him. See? And, you know, there's parts of me my old lady don't like. So that's just part of life, folks. So, and then you got Jen, she, she was censoring people in the comments. She didn't hear nothing from Cheese Joseph. And, and comments from Red Bricks was censored. And a friend of mine, Bill, was censored. And Jen's just, in my book, Two-Faced, because I seen her on channel talking crap about, oh, there is no, or there is God and this God and her belief system. And then she's with Cherry and, you know, it's how Jerry believes. And she's part of this creation. And and so forth and I don't know see so people in that community now is starting to seem like they're the ones starting to cause confusion and that's confusing so red bricks to those who want to stay on the red brick narrative I love it I want to know more and if you do say you remember and that we do create this show me some evidence not just you know, pulling stuff out of thin air because I could do that all day. Just like Walt Disney. <laughs> Take you to the moon. Hey, I could get some software and make you think I'm hanging out with Elon Musk driving old VW up there, driving around Mars, digging a big hole so we understand our Earth <laughs> better. <laughs> What's some dumbass narrative? Anyway, that's enough. I've been babbling. In the land of Babylon, where everything you hear is a lie. Here, I'm telling you some truth. So, can you handle the truth? Well, wake up. Wake up. Throw the mask down. Don't fill out the dumbass census, because you're paying for it $3,000 for that census. Dumbasses don't sign shit for them goofballs. They all need to be jailed. We should have a census of uh, how many politicians could, uh, what type of building structure we're going to have to build 
to house all these corrupt politicians. Maybe one of these uh, white, the White House perhaps, we can redesignate that as a big old prison. Yeah, that's a hell of an idea. Got a fence around and everything. Yeah, there's some food for thought. Have a nice day. Red bricks to you.